Kenya Airways was on the receiving end from irate passengers who took to social media to condemn flight cancellation and delays over the weekend. Among those affected was National Assembly Majority Leader Aidan Duale, who called for the licensing of more airlines to fly the Nairobi-Mombasa route, noting that Kenya Airways seems to have been overwhelmed. I was supposed to leave this airport at 5 today. And I'm told my next flight is 10. Nobody is explaining to us. Kenya Airways is funded by the taxpayers. We will ask why Kenyans are charged these high prices. Economic Kenyans are paying for close to 36,000. There, need, there needs to be a formal system of how to address uh, people, what the repercussions are. Because in this kind of situation, I think the, end, the end sufferers are us citizens of uh, Mombasa right now. This is really mind-boggling. There's something that should be done. The airline has acknowledged this, noting that the operational challenges experienced over the weekend that led to the delays have since been addressed. A statement from KQ reads in part, We apologize most sincerely to all our guests whose journeys were disrupted and assure you of our continuing focus on schedule integrity. The delays were, however, not just on the local operations. One of Kenya Airways B787 Dreamliners experienced a technical problem in Hanoi, Vietnam last week, prompting KQ to rebook passengers on other flights or carriers. Those who faced delays in Vietnam are set to be compensated. A statement from KQ reads in part, Our guests on this disrupted flight have or will receive a letter with background information as well as a reasonable compensation for this disruption. The airline says it worked with a team from Boeing to address the issue on the Dreamliner.